Previously on Ratarossa, I took a gamble buying a 430 scooter rear sight unseen with some pretty heavy accident damage and then discovered even more expensive damage to the suspension and steering assemblies, fixed some strange issue with my trusty computer and watched as our repair costs continue to grow. So in today's video, we're gonna be heavily focused on this point here, keeping the cost down. I have a cunning plan. On the scooter rear, we have a damaged front bumper, side skirt, and rear bumper. The combined cost to replace those, £13,374, about $16,500. However, I am pretty sure I can save the massive bulk of that simply with one of these, a fiberglass kit, some fiberglass, and a few other simple and cheap materials. Okay, the rain's passed, the sun has come back out, which gives me a great opportunity to get underneath the car. We're gonna remove all of the under trays, all of the front bumper, and inspect all of our chassis, all of our frame for any damage, so keep those fingers crossed. I can tell you one thing, in the passenger foot well behind you right now, there is some damage that we are going to have to rectify. You might have spotted it on a previous video, um, but I'll come to that later on. Let's get everything off and see just how bad this thing is. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just remove all of this lower panel here. And uh, we're gonna just check the box section of the chassis in this area here, just in front of it, just to make sure 100%. Once I'm happy with that, then this, in my opinion, is absolutely good to go. damage over this side but I think that wasn't even from this crash this is the wrong side so that looks pretty good apart from a few uh, little bits a little bit of damage there but um all good all right let's just inspect this frame then look at that it's not even damaged <laughs> I've seen worse than that on my Sprali. Look at that, not even cracked. That's amazing. That is the inner arch. Now that was a bit of a struggle because all of this is so caved in up here. Uh, and we've got, well, the front end's totally fine. The rear end, a little bit smashed up, so we're gonna need to replace that one. Um, but otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Now the other main thing you want to check here is damage to all of this frame here that holds all the radiator and all these side parts on. Now you saw me take that out, none of these were kinked in any way. This is all normal, this is normal, that's normal. So I think we're going to be, so far, extremely, extremely lucky with this. I cannot believe none of this is damaged after the impact it took, but let's, uh, let's get the rest of it off and see how it looks. We've now removed the front bumper, so I'm gonna get underneath the car and we're gonna inspect to see any damage on this one. So uh, straight away, after looking, this is all of our uh, frame, our chassis. No damage at all here. No kinks, nothing. Either side, I've had a good look over there as well. The only thing we've got is a few more blades of uh, grass from the farmer's field there that I need to clean up. Again, this is the front tub, no, Damage, no marks, nothing at all here. It's absolutely clean as a whistle. All of this looks absolutely perfect. All of this front section as well, no problem at all here. And when we look around the front of the car, if we come here, look at this. All of this frame section, all of our radiators, nothing has got any kind of damage at all. The only thing we have got is uh, a little bit of plastic here that we're gonna to need to rectify. So this side, no problem at all. And the same over here. All of it is absolutely perfect. There is no damage whatsoever, incredibly, to any of this framework. So it's literally gonna be this front 
front wing has got to come off that's got to be replaced that's these two bits here but none of this frame has got any damage whatsoever i cannot believe it look radiator is fine all of this this is the right curvature i've compared this to the other side as well uh same here there's nothing this moves around anyway uh but yeah seriously got very lucky with this car very lucky now having said that there is one part of the car that does need to be uh, fixed but check this out this panel here has uh has got a split in it you can see here this i can put my hand literally into the cabin of the car and i'll show you the inside in a second but watch this that all the way to here all the way down there and all the way there is one panel right it's just bonded in place it's not even welded so um it's not even structural uh so again i've checked this out we've got one on order and we're going to go and pick it up let's just see how bad this is let me show you on the inside of the car so we've come down to the inside of the car you can see it a little bit better here so got it they've got a couple of little spot welds here and here holding it in place but otherwise it's just bonded and the panel is here i could easily reuse this but there is a slight kink in it just there where the wheels hit it so uh, we're just going to order a brand new one up and then fit that in place when we do all of the body work on this car but as you can see 100% non-structural and if you look let me see if I can get the torch up there up there it literally just holds a couple of the uh, the ECUs and boxes and wiring in place up and, uh, and as that split you can see we've got a little bit of kind of dirt and stuff that's come in the car when it's skidded through the fields but that is definitely not a major problem at all now the other thing that i did take a look at when we were changing all the steering rack i had all of this out i inspected all of the frame down there as well you saw it on video again it's completely straight so no issues there so guys we have caught very 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 lucky with this i'm gonna head off to ferrari now we're gonna get that panel which i've ordered up and um well that's it <laughs> so so lucky on this one Okay, so we've got the final panel that we need to fix the actual bodywork on the uh, car and uh, a couple of other little bits in the bag there. I'm not going to tell you, but I'm going to give you a little clue as to what we might be doing mm. in a future video and an upgrade. That's all you're getting. Let's go. And this is it, guys. This is the new panel from Ferrari. And check out this. It's already uh, come from factory with a bit of a dent in it as well. Look at the uh, finish on that. But that was less than 200 pounds. And uh, we'll put that on our cost structure. But look at that. That is, uh, that's the only part that needs replacing on this car structurally. And that is just panel bonded in place. So that will all get done at the body shop when we do all of the uh, body work. And um, well, what can I say? He who dares. The scooter here project going so well, I'm looking for my next project. You mean this project? Nah, that's gonna have to wait. What do you guys think of a Ferrari 488 on the channel? Check this one out, it looks pretty decent. But if we then scroll through the pictures on the car vertical report, you can see there's a little bit more to this car. Airbags have gone off, engine looks good. We got a bit of damage on the right side. The frame looks okay there. Left side has had a heavy hit. And uh, well, it's a little bit worse than this car, that's for sure. No floor in it. What else have we got here? Yeah, there's a lot of things there. The wheels look okay. And then we've got quite a few spare parts with this one. Uh, so it wouldn't really put me off. I would quite like to do this car. Let me know what you guys think. So let's have a look at the history on it. We've got a 2016, it's a GTB. So it's a coupe, really like those, prefer those to the uh, Spider. 119 is the valuation on this one. So uh, it's a nice car for the money. Obviously it was written off. We can see the damage to the car there. And what else we got? The nice thing is 2000 miles on this car. So really low mileage. Definitely a big tick in the box there. No stolen history on this one, so it's a nice car. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Do you think we should add a 488 to the channel? If you do, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, you can check out your car's history 
on Car Vertical by using code RATAROSSA and clicking on the link in the description below the video. Got to say a massive thanks to Car Vertical for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on with the scooter rear build. With all the mechanical side of the scooter rear fixed up, ready and running perfect again, it's time to move on to the bodywork and, well, we need to address the elephant in the room big holes like this so let's start with well some of the easier stuff now obviously this wing we are going to completely replace it's uh i'm sure a very very good body shop could fix it but it's easier and quicker just to repair this one wing mirror carbon wing mirror well maybe 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 we're going to try and repair that one door is going to be repaired as is this lower sill here we've got a tiny little bit here that uh, can just be skimmed and sorted out. A little nick there. We have got a small little uh, dent here. That's gonna get fixed, no problem there. The back end of the car, the roof, the tailgate, all perfect. And when we come around to this side, well, we've got some problems at the back bumper here. That is just gonna get repaired. Uh, there's no real issue. Other than that corner, there's a little kind of scuff here. This can all be sanded out. This can be fiberglassed. We're gonna repair that. You will not see any problem there. And then we've got the quarter and the lower sill over here that we're gonna also be uh, changing the quarter. We're gonna repair the lower sill. I've been already starting to work on that one. So we've got a few little things to do. And then the big one is going to be this front bumper over here. And uh, well, it's taken quite a knock. But when you look closely, there are a couple of things here that make me want to try and repair it. First of all, it took a knock at the top of the bumper. Now the hard bit is all the lip at the bottom and we've got things like the uh, headlight washers here, the pop-up headlight washers. This side is totally fine, apart from that stupid wheel dolly that went into our bumper here. Really force it that oh, yeah, way, try potentially. It. That's it. I'm gonna repair that. Now let me just show you what we've got. First of all, as I said, we've got this part. And don't forget, this bumper is just fiberglass, right? And well, I've done a bit of fiberglass in. We're gonna fiberglass that on there, make that structurally solid. So that's the corner piece. But the other great bit is that the previous owner, when he did crash, he picked up all the bits, including the wing mirror there but look at this i'm just going to rest that in place just roughly so that goes there there you go so it looks a little bit rough but we've got one small little piece missing and that is this area here so i am going to attempt to try and repair this uh, as with this front grille here that just needs to be straightened out. We've got a little bit of a repair here, but the major elements to this, like the pop-ups here, they're all good. I've taken the uh, a look around it, and well, I think it can be repaired. What is the worst case? I can try, if I fail, I have to buy a new one. Otherwise, I just buy a new one straight away. So let's try and repair it. That, the back bumper, the side skirt, that is over 10,000 pounds for a genuine one well over 10,000 pounds. So we're gonna try and save 10,000 by fixing it myself. Now I might be wrong, but this looks like it's got PPF all over it. So let's peel it back and see what lies beneath. As suspected, that was just tire marks and protected by the PPF. Right, let's get this front bump off and start uh, seeing if we can repair it. Okay, so we can see obviously our damage over here. There's also a trim piece missing over this part, which is that bit there, which is not going to be uh, difficult at all to reinforce or reattach to the bumper. These loose bits here, just to help me retain shape, I'm just gonna glue in place for the time being with some of this uh, contact adhesive. Do the same over here on this panel.
But I'm gonna do one more thing in this area here, just to assist me and hopefully help me fiberglass and just keep the, uh, the right shape here. So I've got some of these kind of thicker plastic sheets here. That one's a, a nice thick one. This one is half the size, so it's a bit more flimsy. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna use the uh, more solid one here. I'm gonna just attach that like that and another piece down there. And it should just help me. Could have done with some bigger ones really. A4 would have been better, but uh, hey ho, we'll try and use what we've got. But it should, should just attach to that. And then uh, I'll cut it into shape, tape it on, and then we're gonna start fiberglassing. Probably just leave it like that, it's totally fine now. It's rather off the style, isn't it? Okay, it is the next morning. Let's see how this has come out. All right, so first of all, it's dried nicely. These are the two areas really here and this big hole at the front I've been focusing on. It looks pretty good, that is solid up there. Now I'm gonna obviously do another little bit in this one. This one is my major concern because it was really structurally uh, going to be a bit of a problem so we're going to build up around here but for a uh, first layer that is solid as a rock now looks good down there Next I want to address the dip here and well my original plan of using some clamps is not going to work because well they're going to be in a way and I'm going to end up fiberglassing the clamps to this bumper. So I've got a different idea, I've got a bit of wood from the garden, I'm just going to cut that down and just rest it on this part and hopefully just if I put it there it will lift it enough I can fiberglass it until it dries and remove it. Now I just need to do the same with the other side.
So the bumper is coming on nicely. We've got the shape, we've got a bit of fine filling to do, and it's in a bit of primer, but there are other parts of the bumper that we also need to fix. The scooter rear front grille here, as you can see, has seen a few better days. Uh, it's a little bit bent from the accident, but the problem is, it's about 400 pound, and there's none in stock anywhere in the world. So, um, I'm gonna try, save myself 400 pound, and fix it. For this fix, we're not going to use really any tools. It's just going to be done by eye and just manipulating it with my hands and maybe a little bit of pliers for the final bits to straighten those wires. There you go, 400 pound saved. I'm gonna spray this one and the other one up as well. I've got uh, some of this special gray on order. So uh, just a quick blast over with the rattle can. And we've just saved ourselves a load more money. Okay, so let's wrap up today's video with a cost update. So we have bought the brand new uh, panel, the arch there, that was 180 pounds. Suspension stud, uh, the nuts, the washers, everything from the last video, that was about 10 pounds in total. Uh, and then we've got materials, so fiberglass kit, some of the uh, filler, everything like that. I'm gonna associate a cost with that. Let's go all in total with uh, lo using a load of filler that we're gonna be using for the rest of this. I'm gonna put a hundred pound out there for that um, with some sandpaper and all that kind of thing. So. Um, what does that bring our total to? I've not added it up yet. Cold up, cold up, warm up, warm up. Funny boy, he's hidden the costs behind this strange looking grill here. Anyway, the uh, the price so far, the cost so far of the build is 56,000 and 50 pounds, which is looking very, very good indeed. Considering we were originally at 65,000 almost, for the parts alone on the exterior of the car that we saw during that first video walk around. And don't forget, this is a big chunk of the money here was steering rack and the suspension. So we're doing really remarkably very well on this. And uh, 50 of that obviously is the car cost. So uh, we've spent 6,000. Anyway, hopefully we can keep those numbers low for the next video, which is coming very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and the bell notification so you don't miss an upload on the channel. And uh, in the meantime guys, stay safe. Check out what I get up to on a daily basis on my other socials, and I will see you shortly in the next one. Ciao for now. What's that? What's that button and the key is there? What's that? Is that for your garage or something? I thought that was a... Uh...